In this video I'm going to be going over a number of products that I purchased as a beginner to the fish keeping hobby that I personally think were a waste of money for my personal circumstances. A lot of that is due to user error on my part but we'll go into that as we work through the video. So first up we have API Ammo Lock and this is definitely user error. This is not the product I needed. Like a lot of beginners I was having problems with the ammonia cycle in one of my tanks and I rushed out to get something to try and help the situation. I quickly searched for products on Amazon, presumed that this was what I wanted and ordered it because I was in a rush that day and I had to get out of the house to do a few things. Thankfully that night I researched this more and by the time it came the following day I realised that this is not what I wanted. As the name suggests this essentially locks the ammonia in your tank and prevents it from progressing from ammonia to nitrites and then into nitrates which will effectively stop your cycle. So yeah this has never even been opened but because of what I paid it's not really worth returning so yeah I'll just hold on to this I guess. What I really needed was some something like nitrifying bacteria. And that actually brings me on to the second product, which is nitrifying bacteria. I don't actually have any of the bottles anymore because this was a few months back when I used them. And I know these are controversial anyway. The idea is that they contain the bacteria or the colonizing agents to help the beneficial bacteria rapidly increase the colonies in your tank. A lot of people online say they do little to nothing. And in my experience, that has been correct. I've used them in two different tanks and they really didn't help in my opinion at at all. Next up we have air pumps and I want to be clear this particular air pump is one of the most popular ones here in Europe especially in the United Kingdom and this does what it says on the tin it is a pretty good air pump for the price and it works very well but it is very noisy and it was annoying me when I was trying to watch TV or read my books or anything like that that's why I didn't like this particular pump. I even put little towels underneath it and on top of it to try and give a cushioning or soundproof it but it just didn't work it was so annoying and I actually saw switched out from this to the cheaper little USB air pumps. I know with these little USB ones, the airflow is nowhere near as much as the larger pumps. But for my tanks with live plants, it seems perfectly fine for the smaller ones, to be honest. I'm not really having any issues with them. And in my larger tank that I am upgrading the main filter on, I'm still going to be using one of the USB air pumps and a little sponge filter just for more surface agitation for gas exchange and stuff like that. I really think they're a good buy. They're very, very quiet. Next up, we have a various different range of fish food and shrimp food. These shrimp lollies are the only ones once I've got left. I've tried multiple brands of these and my cherry shrimp and Armano shrimp never ever touched them. I've never once seen them feeding on these. I honestly think they're just a total waste of time. So we'll just get rid of those. I know that the Rapashi gel food is very very popular. I have two different versions of it. I've tried it multiple times. I've made it in multiple different ways and I've never once seen my fish eat it ever. And it is quite expensive for what it is and I have seen other people say the same thing that their fish just don't touch this. And I followed various different videos and reddit posts on how how to make it as well as the official instructions. I've just never seen anything in any of my three tanks even touch Rapashi so I won't be buying that ever again. Next up we have the Hikari range and I have a few different products from these and my fish just don't really care about any of them. These are the micro pellets and my fish would suck them in from the water column but then they'd instantly spit them straight back out and just wouldn't swallow them. But yeah I really wasn't impressed with these and there's definitely better things out there in my opinion. Next up we have the Shrimp King pellets. These are as the name suggests, for my shrimp. My cherry shrimp and Armano shrimp did eat these. I go into this in more detail in my dedicated video where I review this. I link that in the card and description as well. In the UK, these are so expensive. It's just not worth the money. There's different British brands out there that are so much cheaper. And I mean, these are more than double the price of the same product on the mainland or in the United States. I don't know why they're so expensive in the UK. I did see people on Reddit say it's because of Brexit, but that's not true. We can get Aquiel tanks from Poland or other products from other places in Europe as well as the live plants from Danel as well who make this. They're the exact same price as every other country. For some reason it's just this specific product is ridiculously expensive here in the UK and I don't think it's worth the money at its current prices. And then next up we have bug bites and I absolutely love bug bites and my fish definitely love bug bites but specifically the granule version and these are the flakes. None of my fish touch the flake version of bug bites at all and I've tried it with tetras, baiters, Garami, Corydoras, but that was a little bit of a pain to get it to sink. Chili Rasboras and Guppies, and not one of them would actively and consistently eat these, whereas the actual granule formula of Bug Bites, they absolutely wolf it down, they love it. So yeah, this is going to go out of date uh, within a few months anyway, and I won't be buying the flakes again. I'm not slating Bug Bites as a brand. Their granule formula is amazing. All my fish love it, and so do my shrimp. Next up, we 
have test strips and I would argue these do have their place if you don't have the budget for the Freshwater Master Test Kit from API, which is what I currently use. But you can literally take multiple ones of these, test them in the exact same water, leave them for the exact same time period and you get different results. These are very, very inaccurate, both the ammonia ones and the normal ones that do the other water parameters. So if you do need to use these for budget reasons, then maybe get three or four of them, test them all in the same water at the same time and then work out an average of what is suggested. But yeah, in my opinion, these are very, very inaccurate and I upgraded to the API Master Test Kit. It is more consistent. I've done testing with that, with the test tubes, putting the chemicals in at the same time and it's usually very similar, whereas these can be very different in my experience. So yeah, I won't be using test strips again. Next up is the liquid fertilizers that I've used. And I have used a few different ones. API Leaf Zone is a very, very popular product, at least here in the UK. But a lot of people say it doesn't have the micronutrients or most of the macronutrients that you need for healthy live plants. I did move from this to the Tropica Nutrition range. I really do like that, especially the Specialist Nutrition one. I think it's a very good product. And my live plants are thriving in all three tanks now. But with this, there's a lot of different opinions out there. You can do your own research. Personally, I will be sticking to the Tropica range moving forward. I've got no plans to get the API one ever again. So the next one is API's pH down. And again, this one's another user error. I didn't really know what I needed and this was definitely not the product. The idea was I wanted to lower my pH levels because of what I'd saw other people on YouTube say before I set my original shrimp tank up. Not knowing that substrates like fluval stratum will naturally lower your pH for you in a shrimp tank if needed. And then on top of that, the water out of my tap is very soft anyway, like most of Northern England. So this wasn't even needed. So again, I don't think I've even opened this one to be honest, but yeah, this is another product that was completely user error. So the next one is proper pH by API. There's a few different ones that'll set your tank to different pHs. I got the 7.5 one, like I just said, I live in an area with very soft tap water. This was purchased for my guppy tank. But the problem is this is not recommended for tanks with live plants like my tank has. It even says it on the actual instructions, but I didn't read it. So again, user error. I do think this is partially why the algae is so bad in that particular tank. I've seen other people say the same thing when they use this in planted tanks, but that is my fault. It clearly says not use it in planted tanks on the product and on the Amazon sales page. I switched over to pH up from API, which is the opposite of pH down that I just mentioned in the previous featured product, which can be used in a live planted tank. So I am using that in my guppy tank now. So hopefully that'll help me get the algae under control. But yeah, this was definitely purchased by mistake and it was my fault, but I won't be buying this again. I have moved over to API pH up. So yeah, that brings the video to an end. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully my mistakes have helped you and you won't waste the money I did. Thanks for watching guys and have a good day.